Hello, and welcome to episode 2 of Planet Halo. Here we are in the woodlands of the Ark. To the forest we go. These fish are known as Ashakadlak. These fish, they are native to the waters here, and all of the Halo installations, including the Ark. This animal, however, is happening only to the Ark. This is the Wraith, the biggest water animal here on the Ark. These mongoose over here typically are very fond of messing with the Wraith. Here we see the mongoose wanted to play a little game with the Wraith. Let's see how this plays out. Obviously, the Wraith didn't think it's as funny as the Mongooses did. The rest of the Mongooses now know to stay away from the Wraith, and they head further inland away from the water. But, as they begin to get separated, two Mongooses, the leaders of the pack, desperately try and find others by doing their chance. Luckily, a few minutes later, one of their buddies arrives. Here we have the Hornet. The Hornet here inside this biodome is the top of the food chain. Hated by everyone, they also hate everyone and will do anything for food. Unfortunately for the Hornet, they are weak and vulnerable alone. Here the Hornet is just flying across the woodlands and you get a clear view at just how fast and vicious they are. The mom of the hornets, also known as the pelican, is here also in the jungles. They have a huge vicious attack and will kill anything that threatens their children, the hornets. Alone, the pelican can take out any enemy that it has in its path, but they are very slow and vulnerable by vicious attacks from certain predators such as the scorpion. As we see here, scorpions in the nearby cave took out this poor pelican. And what else? The always hungry offspring use it as a food source and devour it slowly amongst themselves. But sometimes one approaches on the other and a fight breaks out. Here this hornet just defeated his brother and it teabags it as a sign of pride and to show its superiority over the other animals. The blast stirs up this scorpion who is away from its home at the time. Just like the hornets who are very vulnerable alone, this scorpion gets defeated by two hornets. Here behind me is the cave where the scorpion sleeps and nurses its young. Let's take a closer look inside. Here we see two scorpions who are, from what we can tell, very close to each other. The male on the right is trying to get the female on the left attracted to him. The female tries to get away, but the male keeps pressing closer. It's an act to show his love he does what is known as the turret twist. Here we see it for the first time, caught on camera, ever. The female, not attracted to the male, makes the male sad as he drives away. Going back to the fight between the hornets and the scorpion, here we introduce the ghost, one of the scavengers here in the woodland. These scavengers will eat anything and will do anything they can for food. The hornets, who still haven't reached the food yet, spend it off against the ghost. The ghosts work very well when they work as a pack, as they all try to take out the hornet. A huge battle breaks out here in the middle of the woods. As we can see, it looks like the hornets are really kicking some ass. Half the ghosts are dead and this one is single-handedly 
trying to take on both Hornets, and it succeeds in taking out one of them as the other runs away. Here behind me is the waterfall, or the watering hole for all animals. Here on this hot day, we expect to see someone arrive. And sure enough, one of the other native animals, the warthog, shows up to take a mid-afternoon bath. As we are seeing here, the warthogs are using each other for a boost to get higher up in the colder water. Unfortunately for the warthogs though, one of the top predators, aside from the hornet, comes into view. Another one of the birds, a banshee. This banshee wants dinner and it wants it now. As you can see, it is trying to get that one warthog. But, the warthogs are very close with the scorpion and they do not see each other as a threat. As we see, the warthogs go to the scorpion for protection and the scorpion fires upon the banshee. The one warthog seen as the weakest is still trying to get away, and now the banshee is fired upon from everyone, including fellow warthogs defending its friend. The banshee continues to try and get the one warthog, but then is defeated when everyone fires. The rest of the warthogs now continue to drive and have their fun during the day. Here we see them just running around, playing with each other on this hot afternoon in the water. The Banshees still comb the area, but do not try and strike again, learning from his best friend. These Banshees, they like to stay in packs and stay close to each other whenever they can. So that was this episode of Planet Halo. We hope you learned something new about the nature of this game. Thank you for watching. See you next time. This was a Stewie 2552 production for Funny Halo 3 Productions.